Here at 2 and 2 Tax, we have a lot of experience dealing with sales and use tax audits. We've worked with several of the auditors. They're generally based out of Brooklyn, but they'd like to first come to the client's office. But if we take over the audit and we're power of attorney, we have it. We conduct it here in our office. We feel that conducting the audit in the client's office leads to the possibility of a higher assessment and vulnerability. We want to step in and represent the client because that's the way it should be done. And this way, if they propose any questions or pick out any things they want to see examined, we can prepare for that response accordingly. And we can either speak, meet with a client, go back to storage, go back to the records and pull out the proper evidence and supporting statements and invoices, cancel checks, bank statements in order to properly respond to their auditor's request. But if, if the auditor is put in front of the client or in the client's office, we may not have the proper time to serve our client in the best interest. It really depends on the auditor you get assigned and, and what they're auditing. But tax audits in New York City can take anywhere from one month to six months. It really depends on the complexity of your return. A corporation or partnership audit is going to take longer. I've seen sales tax audits take a couple of years sometimes. It really depends on the revenue, the volume of transactions, how complex the audit is. There's a general rule that the IRS and New York State want to general, try to generate a thousand bucks an hour for each audit. They're generally, of course, going after the bigger numbers, the bigger businesses, the more risky businesses, businesses who are dealing with more cash. But the time it can take really varies according to who the auditor is. What department is it? Is it income tax, residency tax, sales tax, unemployment audits, workers' comp audits? You know, there's all different types of audits and, and, and different levels of complexity. So tax audits occur for a variety of reasons. One of the biggest schedules to get audited is the Schedule C, the self-employed schedule, because you have the flexibility there to take a large amount of write-offs. So when people abuse that privilege of the write-offs, generally either New York State or the IRS wants to see why this particular write-off, why this deduction was so high, especially in relation to your industry, your profession, your income. That's the number one reason uh, people get audited. Usually it's a correspondence audit by mail. They just, they don't necessarily want to meet you in person, but they want you to send in support for certain income or expenses. And we're of course very experienced with that and happy to help out with that. And we, and we definitely know how to respond to the IRS and or New York State to give you the best chance of either not getting assessed any additional tax penalty and interest at all, or at least lowering that assessment.